I'll finish this quick. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> we used to play tag all the time. I won't let you get away, Velvet. You know me not! That was the whole reason I took him from Teresa. It's just another necessary sacrifice for peace. Inominat, you monster! Inominat to the front of us, a dragon to the back of us. Reaper's curse doesn't begin to describe it. What a shame. Is that despair I sense? Not on your life. It'll take more than this to make your big sister break. The more you resist, the more you'll suffer. Velvet, let me punish this rotten little delinquent. You're just a Malak. You don't stand a chance. I'm not just any Malik. And I'm sick of murdering scum like you! I know no limits! For I am Sabine! Sabine! This is officially too damn much. We'll be fine. Take them out one by one! If only I'd been a larger vessel. Save your regrets for later. We're dead if we don't focus. Spirit right. release! You broke me! Here's your justice! By the order! I told you you would suffer. Safid. I'll hold off, you know me not. Everyone else, take out that dragon. There's no way you can face him alone. At least let me assist you. This isn't an order, it's strategy. I'm counting on you, Fee. For something that's a mere part of me, you're awfully uppity. I am the Mala Mafi Set. I am my own master. I miscalculated. 
calculated before. I won't hold back this time. And neither will we! But nothing's changed! We're still in the same bind! Everything's changed. V is trying to become someone new. It's a gamble. I'm in. Me too. You stay out of this. The dumb coin always lands on the skull. Then you'll just have to flip it over for me. Not happening. I'm going to Big, but you're struggling even to protect yourself. <laughs> if you apologize now, I'll make sure it doesn't hurt when I devour you. No way I'm apologizing! Not to some jerk who doesn't understand how Velvet feels! And you're saying that you do? She's my sister. I know everything, but I won't tell you! So be it. If I devour you, we'll be one again anyway! The compass! She isn't! Yours! Velvet is Velvet! And you're just a fragment of me! Guys, look out! No! So that was your strategy. Hey! Give us more warning! You almost roasted us alive! You've really... done it now! I'll turn you into a dragon. See who's left in this! What's going on? The malevolence burned away? We're leaving! Hurry! They got away. A silver flame. A strange art that Malak used. Did you forget that you have the power to digest malevolence? That thing may be a fragment, but it's still part of you. But the dragon attacked me. If it hadn't disrupted my concentration like that, I never would have let my fragment lay a finger on me. So long as you learn from your mistake, such a ruse won't work a second time. After all, Malakim are mere servants of the Empyreans. As long as we stay wary, they pose no threat to our ideal world. Your awakening is nearly complete. None within your domain can stand against you without the power of the four elemental Empyreans. 
and they are fast asleep, far beneath the Earth pulses. I'm going after them. No, not now. We need to make preparations for the ceremony of suppression. We'll send this one after them instead. A demon? Will he be reliable? True, he can be hard to control. Even after he succumbed to demonhood, he withstood my illusions for seven days and nights. Even now, he resists on an instinctual level. However, he used to be known as the most fearsome pirate in all the seas. His strength is equal to any legates. You, capture the Therion Velvet. Do whatever you have to, as long as you keep her alive. Wait. First... First, kill him. Kill Lafisette. Before my sister's eyes. He's the only thing keeping her from falling to despair. <laughs> it's true. Demon or not, he still possesses an odd sort of pride. I'll have to relieve him of such a meaningless burden. That made for good training, at least. We fought an Armatus, an Empyrean, and a dragon. It's a miracle we're still alive. It's all thanks to Fee. He's still asleep. He must have used all his physical and mental strength. <sighs> a fire that burns away malevolence. That's quite the talent he's got there. Is it because he's part of Enominot? Sure could be. In one sense, that's a lucky break for us. But on the other hand... <sighs> anyway, I lost that bet, and I was so sure I was gonna win, too. Awful lot of drama you're making over 100 gold. Don't you dare laugh off 100 gold! One with no respect for gold will be by 20 lions mauled. Everyone knows that. Right. Anyway, what do we do next? Nothing's changed. We seal Inominat away and kill Artorius. Even if Inominat has awakened, there must be a way to seal him back again. Our best lead is still Grimoire's ancient book. We should meet up with Benwick and the others. Are you sure you want to stay with us? I don't know if it's the right choice or not. But I refuse to believe Lord Artorius is right. That sacrifices are inevitable bumps on the road to a better world. That's why I'll do what I believe is right, and fight him. Even if I'm wrong, I won't have any regrets. Do you have any idea how frustrating you are? Here one to talk. Aizen, get in touch with Benwick and the others. That demon... It had to have been... Aizen? I think we need a break more than anything. That was a long stretch of battle. Seconded. Besides, the boy and Zavid aren't waking up anytime soon. Let's find a place to sleep for tonight. Eleanor, look after Lafayette. Maybe you ought to carry him. He did all this for you. Please. Very well. You can at least carry the poor kid. Damn, you're cold. No, quite the opposite. I'm glad you didn't win that bet, Mogilu. Sure, you're glad, but what witch would be happy at losing? And you pampered Velvet like crazy! It's your fault I lost. Really? I don't remember doing anything. Nope, wasn't us. <laughs> Staying out of it is just as bad. If you don't throw salt or sugar into an open wound, you're guilty of being too nice! I lost the bet because of you. You owe me. In that case, let us get in on the action. Let's make another bet. Oh, I'm listening. I'll bet 10,000 gold that Velvet cracks. Oh. I'll make that same bet. 10,000. Uh-huh. Hey, wait a minute! 
you both know that I'm the one who wants to bet that she cracks? Then you should have spoken up first. We can call the whole thing off if you want. No, no. What kind of gambler would I be if I back down now? I'm afraid I have to take that bet. I hereby bet 10,000 that Velvet doesn't crack. <laughs> What's so funny? For someone so stubborn, you can be surprisingly cute sometimes. You're calling a witch cute? That's slander! You both owe me the money you bet as reparations! So, should I think of you as my sister? I'm a Moloch named Ceres. I've inherited Selica's memories, that's all. And that doesn't make you the same person? What exactly defines a person's identity? I may have her body and her memories, but... <sighs> You're right. If your soul has changed, you're not the same person anymore. Even if I were Selica, I don't have the right to be called your sister. I followed Artorius's orders without question, sacrificing my own flesh and blood. What about me? I devoured you. I have no right to condemn you for what you've done. There's a difference, Velvet. I wanted you to do it. Even had I survived, I would have given myself to you before long. I wanted you to have my power, no matter the cost. But why? Right after the advent, Selica's memories returned to me. <sighs> it was then I understood what exactly it was I had done. Arthur, kind and caring, transformed into the cruel Artorius he is now. Why did your memories return? I don't know. I've heard that very rarely Malakim can regain the memories of their previous lives. Or perhaps this is my punishment for the pain I brought to you all. The stronger I feel my love for Arthur, the less I can forgive Artorius. My hatred of him has grown so deep I'm not Selica anymore. As Ceres, I can never bring back the Arthur that I loved. Neither do I have the power to defeat Artorius. But you can. You're a Therian. You fully absorbed my power. You can face the Shepherd. I know. I will stop him. Forgive me, Velvet. I've pushed everything onto you. My hatred, my determination. I wanted to apologize one last time at the end. I'm glad I had a chance to know you. I'm glad that once I could be Luffy's sister. And Selica and Arthur's sister as well. I was happy. Velvet. Should you be up so soon? Yeah, but... Stay back! <gasps> it's finally come to this. But of course it did. After all, I chose my revenge over a world of peace. I can't complain if people call me the Lord of Calamity. Velvet, whether you're human, demon, or Lord of Calamity... doesn't change that you have beautiful hair. Luffy said the same thing to me a long time ago. He gave me this comb. Your heart, I can tell it aches. Yes. But even still, no, because of that, 
I've made up my mind. I'm going to settle things with Artorius and Inominat, once and for all. It must be done. For my sake, and for the sake of those I loved. I will too. Even without my compass, I'll place my hand on the wheel and chart my own course. I will defeat Artorius. But if I kill Inominat, Lafiset, and me, and the other Therians, they'll all... A compass? Hmm... Aizen! Why the hell didn't you say something? Hmm. <laughs> Calm down. You were passed out at the time, okay? <laughs> I'm going. I've got to stop him! What's going on? We got a message from the Von Eltia. That's great. Is everyone okay? Yeah. For now. Huh? While Benwick and the others were making their getaway, they got word that Eifried was spotted in Endgand. They said they're on their way to Lionel Island to meet him. That has to be... Yes, a trap. No doubt set by that horned demon, who may even be Eifried himself. Eifried is a demon? Are you serious? I said may. Let's head to Lionel Island. Whoever it is, it's a lead. Besides, we can't afford to lose the Von Eltia. How will we get there? We'll steal one from the harbor. I may be a calamity, but I'm frugal. Curse it all. If only I'd notice sooner. How about this one? The hole looks dirty, and I don't see anyone aboard. You're surprisingly into this. Maybe you've got a criminal streak in you after all. What? No, I... What do you think, Aizen? She'll do. Let's take her. Aizen, hmm. everything all right? We're almost at Lionel Island, all thanks to this ship. She's got a good compass. Yeah. If only my inner compass held as steady. From the first moment I laid eyes upon that demon, I think I knew it was Eifried. But some part of me refused to accept it. That's because you're Eifried's friend, don't you think? After all, he taught you that the Reaper's curse was part of you, part of your creed. We were lost at sea once. Twenty straight days we floated together, close to death. And all he says is, you sure know how to liven up an adventure. He sounds like an incredible person. You did the same thing for Velvet, you know. Only because you taught me how, Aizen. Your wheel is yours to hold, right? That's right. That's what it is to live by one's... Look! It's Lionel Island! Not good. The Von Eltia's already there. We're too late. Eleanor! What's going on? What happened? A horned demon attacked us out of nowhere! They're breathing. Barely. Zavid rushed here to save us. Had he not come when he did, we'd all be dead. This is all because I hesitated. Where'd they go? Zavid lured the beast away, towards the interior. Let's go! 